Hey guys and welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 on Thornton Farm. We've got the Universal out at the store waiting for us is a nice shiny new front weight for it. Why am I picking up the front weight? Well, because I can. <laughs> In reality. Uh, that's right. I really would like to be able to use IC while having the HUD disabled. That would be glorious. Now, I was just driving around for a few minutes on here. Just got done recording yesterday's video. I'm trying to figure out what on earth could we tell a story about today on Thornton Farm? Well, I kind of know where I'm going, and two things. When I make this turn in a minute, I'm going to stop on the road. And you tell me how far the game's advanced lighting wise when you see shadows like that. I and mean, just look at it. I'm a sucker for amazing lighting in games, and oh my god, that looks gorgeous. You can even see the tire tread. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of that. Cause, mm, Giants, you've gone a long way. You really do. Yeah, you really have, shall I say. So, I think we've actually still got the... Did we park the tractors yesterday? Yeah, we must have. So, I see our front weight waiting for us. We have the fent. Now, I'm kind of tempted to uh, sell it. Maybe go, no, not the fent, I really like it. And then buy a JCB 8000 series. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of tempted. Kind of tempted. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. I do want to get rid of the fence. I just got no need for that tractor on the yard. On the yard. On the farm anymore. I really don't. I'm kind of in limbo whether to do that or not in the first place, to be honest with you. So what we'll be doing here is... Obviously, I'm taking this back to the farm. This is the front weight. Nothing special, but a little bit of front weight back there. It'll probably level the tractor out a bit nicer too. Uh, we need to bring back the Challenger to the yard and get the maintenance done on that for the year. And then we'll fast time. This video is going to be a little funny because during the winter, especially if you don't have a whole lot of animals, there really is not much to do in Seasons mod on Farming Simulator. That is why I have placeables and all of that good stuff, then there is stuff to do. Uh, Mark, he mentioned to me there's a good pack for this tractor, a uh, good small front loader pack, so I need to get with him on TeamSpeak later to get that. I'm probably just going to record these two videos today and call it quits for the day. Maybe I'll record something later, I don't know yet. And get them rendered and edited and... All of that good stuff. So we'll shove this up. Probably actually in between this lot. It's out of the way when it's just parked up here. And as I say, we'll uh, the fast time, I guess. Actually, you know, we'll get the challenger. Forget him what I'm saying. Wow. We'll jump. Here's what I was on about with the shadows, and I had to take a picture. And it's probably going to be a thumbnail for a live stream. Just looks so darn nice. Sorry, I just had to take a bit of pause due to background noise. As I was saying, look at that darn shadow. Doesn't it look amazing? Dang. Anyway. We'll put this old machine away. I, I say old, it, it's reality not that old at all. We'll chuck it away in the shed, grab the Challenger, and put that away. Need to get the conveyor belt in at some point. Probably spring is when we'll get that. And put that away. That away? Nope. Bring that to the yard. So 
And tap, 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 tap. There it is. So it did a decent job of this field. This field had manure on it, so it should will be very, very nice and fertile. I believe I've got three stage fertilization switched on. Let's check, actually. If I haven't, I can enable it now. Uh, three stage plowing required, yes. Cool. I had to have that off for uh, quite some time because Seasons wasn't working with it. And now Seasons does work with that, so sweet. An another thing I will say is I had someone recently ask where to download Seasons. Seasons is currently in beta still. I don't know when it will be released. I have no time frame that I know of from the creators. The creators wish it to be kept private for the time being. It is out there. I'm not going to say where. But it is around in places. Well, official around. Unfortunately, some people did upload it with maps and stuff like that. From what I've heard and personally seen, they are such an outdated version, they could break your game. Most of the versions that are out there on the dodgy websites are pre the latest update for Farm Sim and probably will completely screw up your game save. So, if you want to do that, then uh, be prepared to have a crop game save. There's rumours these guys may be entering the competition. The mod competition, I don't know how true it is. But they seem very interested with it. If just You just have to look on the Giants Discord. So we could see it for the competition. It, it is... We were talking about this last night, but it's, it's pretty much ready, to be honest. We just keep on adding more to it. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. And when it happens, really. So we'll give this tractor a wash off, give it some maintenance. And fold up. Oh, I should have unfold the cultivator to clean it. Wait. Unfold the cultivator to clean it. Then, as I say earlier, we will fast time into a new day where we can take care of the greenhouse and the animals, aka sheep. No doubt the greenhouses. We need to put the pallet wagon actually when we make some pallets. They need to go, if you guys remember from uh, Monday's video, they need to go to the greenhouse the pallets the next load. I'll just slot this here, drop that there. I do like the Challenger, it's an awesome tractor. It's a pain to drive, you've got to be very careful, you can't put a whole lot of it steering input into it, otherwise it will completely freak out. That's when you get it to do stuff like that and completely oversteer. But for me, I just put gradual steering inputs in, and it, it does okay. And does this need any maintenance? Uh, four days. So technically no, but we may be able to do some. Yeah, 47. So basically that would be a oil change, stuff like that. So that boosted up to six days, 30 hours. Now, it's kind of the little thing I've got. Six days for this tractor. This tractor is only going to be doing groundwork. So we're in the great scheme of things. I probably will now have this tractor parked until we're seeding again and then after we've seeded I won't be using it again until soil work so it's, I don't know some of the spray, spray barely gets used yeah, you still have to pay for that and it's expensive And I think that was actually the last piece of machinery I needed to do that to.
these machines can just uh, be let be. So what we'll do is we'll fast time, we'll pause fast time, and then we'll see you in the next day. Uh, what's the weather going to be like? Let's open the weather up forecast. Uh, Thursday, snow. I think that may have been today. And then rain, 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 and more rain. This is what I mean, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any crop in. Uh, we could really get screwed this season. Oh dear. It's snowing again. Uh, the new day, our eggs are full, and it's snowing. Typical. Nice minus six, so it's real chilly. Got to collect the eggs. Don't know why that gate's open. I might edit the chickens so they put them all in here, just on the ground, so I can just walk in and grab them all. Because it's a big time pain after to walk around picking up all the eggs. Reality of things, we all know where they'd be. So some there, some there, some there, some there. You guys know the way it works. Okay, let's check. The sheep, yep, they're gonna need some hay. So we'll load that up. Now, unfortunately, Auction David never put the bell destruction in, which really does suck. Do we have the bell forks on this? Wrong tractor. No, where's the bell forks? We've got snow. We have snow, ladies and gentlemen. So we may actually have to do some snow plowing. Snow plowing. Snow plowing. Spin around here. Connect that up. Well, I can't believe we've got actually got natural form and snow. Now let's look at the draw, guys. You know you're probably going to have a screwy year when this happens. Okay, the snow's kind of stopped now. As you guys can see, I've got the time going at 60. For the time being. Okay, as we're getting lighter, I will put it back to uh, normal. Now, the snow won't last too long. We're easy. There we go. Oh, come on now. Well, that bale's probably dead. Now, this is one layer of snow, it's not much. It's just a little coating on the ground. I don't think it's even enough to plow. To be completely honest, doesn't it look beautiful? Uh, yes, yes, it does. It looks magical. That's the thing. Unfortunately, the way the world is going, you don't see this much anymore. And I, I truly mean it. It's even in my lifetime. I've gone from seeing huge snow in the UK to nothing. A lot of you younger guys, I don't know how many of you that I, I've got that are a lot younger than me. You may never see snow like this in the UK. Oh, well, not like this, but good amounts of snow. Like I've seen and I know for a fact the last couple of years going to Canada over the winter time, I've not seen a good amount of snow anymore. Seen one last good year there, and in 2010, I think I saw the last good year here in the UK too. 
It's crazy. So I think what we'll do is we'll figure out where the sun is. Oh, it took it. It has got the bell destruction. Son of a... Well, I was going to get a photo. So I may go back. Do we need more? No, we don't. But I'm going to get another bell just for the photo. Because I think that would be kind of cooler. So we should be right back. Alrighty. The photo has been taken. Oh, do they need water? No, they do not. Now, do they need any more of this? No, they do not. Was it a waste of time me bringing this down here? Dave has just gone live again. Okay. Yeah, he... Uh... <laughs> Two videos, Dave gets to mention he's doing what I said. Well, su suggested, should I say. Alright, what's... What's this field? Is this grass? No, it's not. How much is this one? Oh, no pricey. Some of these fields are... Ridiculously expensive. Now, I'm not too sure if the sheep produce wool in the winter now. I've got a feeling, considering we fast forward a full day, a full time, they don't. I just, yeah, this looks magical. This really does. Way bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And unfortunately, it will be gone. When I fast forward, all of it. Uh, we'll go up and check on the greenhouses next. Which again, mainly plan, but we're not going to. We're just gonna leave it as. This is only the first layer. Uh, typically, once we get more, uh, I can hit left, alt, and S. Now, you guys have seen this screen before, but this next one you don't tend to see too much. So we've only got 0 0.06, the first layer. Meaning, it ain't going to have any effect. It's just like, hey, uh, here's some snow for you to look at. Really, that's what it boils down to. So we'll take this back. And we'll just probably put it on the ground. In the building there. So, with seasons, anything that's got a snow mask. So you can see... Right around the edges of the buildings, there's no snow in the barns here. There's no snow. That's got a snow mask. What a snow mask does is it blocks snow from going on the ground. To have the full benefits of seasons, you're going to need to put that into a map. Luckily, there are some good people out there that have done it for the seasons, guys, to test some stuff. And they've done it on Cobra, Sandy Bay, and now Thornton. So, huge thank you goes out to Matt, which is the guy that did it, I believe. Alright, let's go up to the clock. Oh, there's no there's no snow up here. Okay. Did not know that. It's a bit of a shame. Oh. Yep, there we go. That's Seasons too. You hear it didn't catch the first time around? That's Seasons going... You better repair this, otherwise it ain't going to start at some point. Oh. Get away. Seriously? These pallets are a pain in the rear end, let me tell you. All I'm trying to do is push it back over now. Dear. There we go. Now it's on this flat ground, it should be okay. Hopefully. Get this all lined up. Now eventually, of course, snow does melt as well, so you'll see the snow eventually just disappear. Because it's got too warm out. It's minus 4 ground temperature and it's minus 4 sort of air temp, so I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. 
Okay, once this happens, we should be ready to rock and roll and start creating our uh, crop. Oh, I believe they go this side. Yep, there we go. Now I need to place the cell points for this stuff. At some point, we'll keep them in storage for the time being, cold storage. And now what I'll do is I'll... There we go. It has started production. And that's what the palace look like. That's really cool. That looks awesome, actually. But I still question... Why? I guess in the cardboard boxes there's nothing, nothing but containers. Ah, to produce them. But either way, there we go. It is all working as it should. Spot on. And we do have, I believe, another full cardboard box over here. Yep, it's off. So what we'll do is we'll pick this up. And we'll just move there. So basically what we're doing there is pretending that we have the small little forklift things, whatever you want to call them. I forget what they're called. Pump trucks. I've heard them known as in the past. So this will go over to our strawberry greenhouse. I'm kind of tempted just to leave the forklift hanging around both areas. Time will tell. What happens? We'll either use a forklift up here all the time or that little tractor. Uh, so now we'll need pallets whenever we can get them going. So again, for the time being, I'll just leave this over here. Wait. Throw the forks down. Switch off our lights. Switch off our beacon. Uh, how much wood are we at? believe that's the logs. Yeah, we've still got a good amount of logs. We do need to buy a small trailer. So let's go ahead and head back to the yard. Jump back in this thing and we'll go pick up a small trailer. This is uh, just a standard trailer, nothing special. Why did I spin around there? Not well, because I wanted to take this route. Cut out the bumpy track. Got plenty of fuel in this. Now the mudge will probably still work, I think. Yep, there it is. Way easy, easy. <laughs> Which it shouldn't. It shouldn't, but that's hey, that's seasons. It, it seasons has no part in mud at all. Uh, bales are getting all the sun there, so they should be all nice and fermented. That bale grab that I did for that trial roleplay series. Just a huge pain in the butt. Really was. That's why you saw me do that cut, if you guys remember that episode. Because I literally just used the auto-load trailer. I wasn't using that crap. I tried again, but... The gaps, you can't get in between them to lift them easy. This is what I find. I put our beacon and light on. As we're almost at the main road. Definitely warming up to this little tractor. I wish we, I still wish we had some more track modded tractors eventually. Where there were older ones like this we knew of and we've heard of more importantly I think that'd be kind of neat and not this turn but the next one and the trailer we are picking up is this is what I'm hoping of. 
Doesn't need to hold much. Mm, yeah. Shall we go with that or shall we just stick to stock? Yeah, let's just stick with stock. No need to make it any more fancy. And hopefully it will hook up to this, okay. Presumably it will. Yeah, it doesn't look half bad, actually. So we'll take this back to the yard. And we'll shove it underneath up in the greenhouse. So we'll see when we get to the greenhouses. Alrighty. Just coming back into Z store. Now, this trailer is going to be stored here. It does have a manual fill, so it won't automatically dump into the trailer. Now, once we position it, this trailer is pretty much just going to live here. And we'll fill it up. And, like I said, that is literally where it's going to stay. And it's producing, that's producing. Everything is good to go up here, so what we'll do is we'll park this down here. Fast time another day. Probably do exactly the same as what we just did in the greenhouse area. Probably just do exactly what we did in the sheep. Once we get into springtime, uh, we're going to be applying more fertilizer. Cows will should be getting ready to bring them into the yard, hopefully, and should be fairly busy from there on in. I hope. I really do. So we will do a fast time, and then we shall be back. Right, we fast timed a bit more, and we now have greenhouse stuff to do. Beacon on. So we have our first pallet of product over at the greenhouse. Still haven't put the placeable triggers in yet to sell them. I'm uh, not too sure how or when I will do that, to be completely honest with you. So for the time being, we'll put them in storage. I don't know how much uh, we'll get for these, neither. When we sell them, I hope it's not stupid amounts. So they're actually showing up as blueberries. They're not blueberries. They're, they're showing up as sugar beets. Alrighty then. The game doesn't know what they are, people. <laughs> it's uh, freaking out. And I wonder if uh, this thing can hold them. And for the time being, I will just lift it up and shove it on the back end of this. Because it didn't take long to produce a pallet, so I think we will be making quite a bit of product here. Which is pretty cool. And the cardboard is filled, so we can take that and bring that over to our strawberries. So our strawberries just need the pallets from over there. I think. And what we'll do is roll that back. Stop here quickly. I want to see how much do they need to del another delivery pallets. Uh, no, they're good. Because we did dump two pallets in there. So the pallets that will be finished off there really soon, actually, we'll bring over here, and both of these should be going. Well, good to go, should I say. Oh, does it already have one in there? Oh, sweet. Okay, so in that case, what I will do is... put that over here for storage. Now I think I will put a little placeable shed over here. 
uh, just for extra stuff. I think that would be kind of cool. So, I guess uh, <laughs> we'll be doing a bit more fast time. I guess I could actually just let it roll. I was at 120 when this was all going ahead. And you just saw that jump up. We'll pull backwards and wait for that to get done. You'll see another pallet probably appear. So this stuff does work at quite a rate. It's definitely surprising. For wood chips. Ooh. Gloucestershire sawmill for wood chips. We do have a little bit of wood chips there. Let's see how much that uh, great demand is. Oh, it's not much. As we can see, it is going up too. Look at the wool. So you can see how everything changes. Uh, I don't think I need to really worry about selling them. We'll keep them. Oh, and that's full. So we'll slow time down again, jump into the forklift. Oh, can we get these? Does this have a weird collision or something? I wonder. I'm gonna have to pull it forward. Hmm. I think there's a weird collisions here or something. My question is can I can I even flip it back over now? Yes I can. That'll do, that'll do. Lift them up so that can go to the greenhouse over here. Now this stuff is fun to do, it's slow going. Let me know if you're enjoying watching this work in the greenhouses. It's definitely something different. Kind of like the slow B, B mod, it's just genuinely different, I think. Send it all up, let it do its thing, there's a lot of back and forth, back and forth, but hmm, really enjoyable. Now in that time as well, it produced another cardboard box, so as you guys can see, uh, the ratios here are quite high. So I won't need some more cardboard boxes for a while. Say the least. So I can start producing again. If we just quickly jump out. Was oh, that full as well? Yep, that's full again too. So that's what it is. Yeah. It produces a lot very quick. That's really, really surprising. Wow. I am shocked, actually. I think we will wrap up the video here. With greenhouses. Now, it's kind of difficult for the thumbnail. I may take another thumbnail here. In a minute as I wrap this up so I will say I hope you guys have enjoyed and I probably will use this for delivery in delivery in oh my I hope you guys have enjoyed and until next time we'll catch you on the flip side uh, which will be another drum art video and uh, remember what I said yesterday's video because we may be bringing cows to drum art hope you guys have enjoyed catch you guys later see ya